today we are in the largest rail station in Spain because we are traveling from Madrid to Barcelona in European style. We're taking our first ever high-speed train trip. We started our journey this morning by leaving our hotel and taking the metro from Venta station to Atocha station where we are now to get on the train and I just had the biggest audience for that vlog clip that I've ever had. <laughs> Our first step is figuring out our platform and our like our departures level here in the station and then we'll go through security. Here's your first hot tip. Check the train number, not just your destination because you'll see multiple trains go to the same place. Plus, the boards only show the final station. So if your stop is one along the way, it won't show up on the boards. Now we're just waiting for our train to have a platform. Taking the train is very similar to taking a plane. We booked it online with the Renfe website. You get similar luggage allowance, but there's no weight limits, which is really nice. You do have to pay if you're gonna have a bigger bag, like a checked bag size bag on the train. In total, I think it was just over 30 euros per person. It's pretty reasonable. From what I understand, it's become a lot cheaper recently. It used to be like 80 to 100 euros. But now there's a more low cost model where you don't have unlimited luggage. We do have those restrictions I talked about. And so train fares have become a lot cheaper. I'll be honest, the Renfe website is okay, but the translations are sort of mixed. So it took a little bit of work to book this ticket but you can figure it out but I think there are some advantages over flying I mean notably it's way better for the environment but I also expect it to be a smoother more comfortable ride plus you only have to show up like 20 to 30 minutes before your train leaves whereas if you're flying usually you're there at least an hour before in total it'll be a little less than three hours till we arrive in Barcelona which for those of you keeping track at home I just want to highlight how cool that is to drive from Madrid to Barcelona would take over six hours that is unreal to okay, me. Okay, sounds like we have a gate now and looks like a line is forming. So we better get in line and get on the train. Yeah, I didn't even mention, this train goes 300 kilometers per hour at its fastest. So truly a bullet train. A train service called Avlo by Renfrey, and it's one of the new lower cost train options. Yeah. Trains used to cost 80 to 100 euros to go from Madrid to Barcelona, but with its new service, fares can be as cheap as 7 euros. I did book this pretty far in advance, and I think many people just buy their tickets the same day in some cases. I feel movement, we're pulling out of the state. And fall. <laughs> This route has the fastest trains in all of Spain and some of the fastest in the world. Welcome to Coach 12, seats 9A and 9B. Let's give you a little tour. So welcome to our little section of the train. We've got very comfy seats. It's very spacious, especially compared to plane travel. It's just unmatched, like way more comfortable. We each have a, a little footrest, uh, you know, small slot for holding, I don't know, your, your book, your magazine or whatever. Um, there's a little garbage bin and a uh, tree table. 
These really are quite spacious seats compared to an airplane, like significantly wider and way more like room. Room for all your stuff, so you don't have to worry about jamming it under the seat in front of you. There's also two outlets in between our seats, plus overhead lights, and the seats recline, even though we're at the very back. And of course, the train also has your typical kind of train airplane bathroom. So this is a lot more spacious than a plane, I think. Dan was like, oh, it's about the size of an airplane bathroom. This, I can move around in here. It's actually uh, pretty big. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that I am just rocketing across the face of the earth at 300 kilometers an hour right now. Maybe I should go sit down. The train also has several washrooms. There's one right at the back here where we're seated, but I know there's several more throughout the train. While I was taking a quick bathroom break, Dan was on an adventure of his own. Chips had to walk like three quarters of the train to find the vending machine. Mediterranean crisps. Yeah. So there's a washroom for each train car. So that's like, I don't know, 30 ish people. There's one washroom per, but there's only a few vending machines on the whole train. So you do have to walk to like the middle of the train, basically. You're just enjoying this chips, aren't you? You're not really listening. You have some too. <laughs> Our train left at 10.30 and we're not arriving till 1.30 and we didn't really pack lunch, so I'm hungry. There is no meal service on this train, that's for sure. We're going through the Pyrenees Mountains right now because we're close to the French border. So these are the mountains between the north of Spain and the south of France. made it to the part of the station where the metro is. Uh, we're gonna take this metro to where the Airbnb is. We're officially in Barcelona, but to me it doesn't really feel like we're here until we get to put our bags down and put our feet up for a bit. We'll get ourselves in a, in a better way and then yeah. catch up with you. Well, we've made it to Barcelona. We hope you enjoyed coming along on our train adventure. If you want to know where we are right now, then you're going to have to subscribe and wait for our next video where we take you along on a week in Barcelona in the winter. We're going to show you what there is to do here even in the off season, so make sure you look forward to that next video. And until then, we love you, we miss you back home, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>